The digital twin brings together the, your mechanistic understanding and your data. Um, and the idea is that by bringing those two things together, you get a much more complete picture in our space, how that device and how that person are interacting and, and coexisting. What we've learned from other industries is that the mantra is, if you know the physics, use the physics. It's mechanistic, it's concrete, you have tremendous predictive capability with that. If you don't know the physics, you need data, and you need a lot of data. And the more data you have, the more concrete your predictions can become. We, we talked about biology being a very complex thing. Um, there's all these hierarchies of systems in our body, and they're all interacting with each other in real time. And there's a tremendous number of things that we absolutely cannot measure, even in an intensive care unit in a hospital. We just can't measure it. Bringing together the data that we do have, the things we can measure, uh, the things that uh, we can um, kind of harvest and assemble about that, that individual or that system that we're trying to predict, along with the, the predictive models, the mechanics that we know and understand about how that physics works. When we bring those two things together, um, that synergy creates a, a very powerful uh, predictive capability.